Welcome to Aloran's Palace, Capricorn. Yo, I just want to give y'all so much thanks for uh, tuning in. Like y'all really showed out on the last reading and much gratitude. Um, I'll probably get y'all a bonus read just for um, really just showing out. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do a bonus read. Um, anyways, please like, share, subscribe, um, hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing these. And most of all, if you like to book a reading, please do. Uh, you can book me through Gmail, Facebook, Instagram. Um, yeah. And if you like to donate, you most definitely can. Um, if I say anything that helps you. You can definitely do that. All that's in the description. That being said, Capricorn, once again, I really, really appreciate y'all. So, um, let's see what's what's coming towards y'all. I know last week was a doozy. You guys have really, really, really been going through. Been doing a lot of Capricorn readings. And y'all been dealing with some ghosters and some really deceptive people that have left you for third parties and just trying to deal with the whys and the emotions of moving on. So we'll see what group of uh, Capricorns we tap into today. We'll see what's in for the energy of this full moon. We'll see. Spirit, thank you for your guidance and your assistance. And all y'all, if you're watching, everybody that watches my feed is going to definitely be blessed. So, if y'all tune in to me, I'm sending blessings your way all day long. Nothing but. We, we, that, that's what we do over here. We speak on y'all's behalf with the divine. Because sometimes... You know, everybody needs that little extra. And I want to give you all that little bit of extra. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, mm, mm. Capricorn. Woo. Y'all are just heavy, heavy, heavy. Holy smokes, Capricorn. Mm. Seems like we're still in that same energy. Y'all are still sad. Damn. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's the energy of... Uh, didn't we talk about this last week, y'all? We got to have another Capricorn intervention. Is that what we doing now? We doing Capricorn interventions? It's all right. I'm here for y'all. I love y'all. Anyways. It's like you. Four of Wands and the Fool came out. Four of Wands is marriage. Twin flame card. You're dealing with some twin flame stuff. It's like real deep. Came out with the fool. Fool ain't always bad. Sometimes it's just taking a leap of faith. It maybe you took a leap of faith into this relationship. With this person that you thought was your twin flame. That you thought was the person that completed you. That you thought was the other your the other half. It's like funny because now I'm looking at it and I never really noticed it before. She noticed how the backgrounds are the same with the fool and the four. And it's like yellow. 
and you see the same color buildings and how they all just kind of match together. That's wild. I never noticed that before. Um, you feel kind of conflicted because there wasn't really any balance in this relationship. There was no equal give or take. There was a lack of reciprocation, a lack of balance with the temperance or the, and the five of wands. Just a lack of balance, internal conflicts, fighting, arguing, mental confusion, mental conflict, lack of peace. Are you still letting these people take your peace? They probably ain't even talking to you and your, your mind is still on it so hard. You got to let this go. It's just not healthy. Either you're still constantly watching this person and wanting to come out of the cold or they're watching you and wanting to come out of the cold. Just constantly looking at the phone. When is this message going to come? When is this message going to come? I'm tired of being out here by myself. I feel just, I'm just fucked up. I'm alone. Why does it have to be like this? Why do I have to feel so fucking alone? And you're just constantly looking at your phone waiting for this message. It's crazy because we got the, the four of wands here. Temperance. We have judgment in the Empress. So maybe you're dealing with the Taurus or Libra. Capricorn. But we have judgment. That's the divine. Calling judgment. That's... You praying, I think. It feels like it's like you're praying about this. And you've been praying and praying. And either asking spirit to release you from this. Or to put you back together. It's either or for some of you. And on both sides of the coin. Maybe you're dealing with the Aries. Mm. Are you dealing with the Aries? Tell me in the comments who you guys are dealing with. I want to know. Because it's different for everybody. But Three of Wands. Waiting for the Emperor. Because you really believe this person is your soulmate. You really do. You believe that this person is your soulmate. And you're waiting for them. You just keep waiting. Capricorn, how long are you going to keep waiting? It's like you're in this place where you feel stuck because you feel like you guys could have everything together with this Three of Cups. And Nine of Pentacles. You feel like you could have everything together. Like this is your twin flame, your soulmate. And thus it's like really hard to let this relationship go. And this like that. It's painful. Like when you love someone from the inside of your soul. It's like a tough thing to release that. Feels like your world is coming to an end. But guess what? Your world is not coming to an end, Capricorn. You're crying over it. But at some point, they're telling me to pull some more from over here. You're going to get your justice. You're going to get something new. That's going to be your justice.
You got to start giving back to yourself. This person was given to other people. They were given to somebody else. And you intuitively knew this. Because you were the king of cups. And this caused you heartbreak. And a loss and a, a loss and feeling of stability. But out of this, you're going to become the king, the king of pentacles, stability. Something new, Capricorn. You just have to change your mindset. This is like a renewal of your mind. And put it in with death. Put it into this feeling that you have. I'm going to pull some Oracle. I'm going I'm to give y'all a little extra time because y'all really showed out for me. So I'm going to pull a couple extra for you. Romance Angel Spirit. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So this is what you have been doing. But maybe the person that you're wanting to reconcile with is not your real soulmate. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Maybe you have another soulmate, Capricorn. Somebody that's better suited for you. Maybe that's why the divine called judgment on this manipulative person. This person that didn't treat you well. This person that behaved like an emperor in reverse. Maybe there's a reason why you're not supposed to reconcile as much as you wanted to. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying, enjoying this moment fully. Start enjoying your moments. It's up to you. You just got to change your mindset. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. There's someone else. Did I... And at the bottom, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. See, what happened to you was divine timing. It was supposed to happen so that you can get the love that you deserve. You are not getting treated the way that you deserve to be treated. And so because of that, divine said no. You fake ass emperor. You can't treat this empress this way. You can't do it. Calling judgment, divine call judgment, because you're protected. When your heart and intentions are pure, you're protected. And I believe your heart and your intentions were pure. And so sometimes spirit hears the conversations we don't hear, sees things that we don't see, the cheating, the infidelity. And pulls us out of these relationships so that we can learn how to value ourselves with the door to value. Look at that. This was your door to value. Your abundance is going to come out of this. Because you've learned to value yourself. Attachment. You're learning how to break this attachment. And what may have seemed like your twin flame may be just a karmic attachment. There may be a better soulmate for you. And not a fake emperor. A real emperor. Your real divine masculine. Because this is a divine masculine, divine feminine. Storm warning. That's a warning. 
about going backwards. You keep going back to the past and keep allowing what hurts you. Like, it's like if you eat some food that made you sick and that food sat out for another five days and you went back and eat it, what do you think is going to happen? You get sicker. You got salmonella the first time. Imagine how much worse that salmonella is, right? You just got diarrhea and shitting everywhere. That's what happens when you go back to what no longer serves you. Leave that shit. This is your storm warning. Caring connections await you. You're calling in your true soulmate. But you have to be willing... You have to be willing to let go of this belief that, oh my God, I have to be with this person or like it's the end of the world. It's not the fucking end of the world. This was all about awakening. This is about you getting your glow back. Sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Look at that. This motherfucker is glowing. Spirit want to talk to you. But you got to meditate. You need to learn how to sit with yourself. You need to learn how to be with yourself. You need to learn how to heal, how to grow. Decide that you don't need this person to complete you. Because you don't need this person to complete you. I don't care how tight this connection feels. You do not need anybody to complete you. You complete yourself first. Bring yourself 100% together with this relation, with the relationship. Anything new. You don't bring 50-50. You bring 100-100. You know what I'm saying? Come as your authentic self. But you have to understand this is divine timing. So stop crying over this person. They were removed from your life for a reason. They were removed for a reason. Why go back? Storm warning. You might have felt like you, you built something with them. But what you built was not what was good for you. God, I feel like I'm preaching the whole sermon. <laughs> Oh Lord, Capricorn, I I want to do I I want to pull something else for you. I do because I feel like you, man. I feel like y'all need it. I'm gonna pull y'all some angel prayers. We need some assistance from Spirit today. Spirit, we gonna look in on these Capricorns. <sighs> Give them the strength to do what they need to do so they can receive what they're supposed to receive. Give them the strength to stay on the path. Walk away from what no longer serves them. Give gratitude and thanks. Ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, and irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. Ground yourself. If it's snowing and it's too cold for you to go outside and touch a tree or something, Take your shoes off in your house. Go stand and touch the wall. Because like the walls, the floor, everything connects to the ground. Send your energy through the building, through the materials, into the ground. You can do this. You can ground indoors. It's just better outdoors normally. But if you can't go outdoors and do it, ground in your home. Go to your basement if you have one. But ground in the lowest part of your house. Listen, 
You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what's beneath the words. Their actions spoke louder than their words. They told you, listen to the actions. And when actions don't meet the words, that's when it's time to just say adios. All right, this is the last one, and then I'm going to let y'all go for this full moon slash eclipse. Stop. Take a moment. That's what this card is. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. Ground yourself, listen, take a moment. That's the message from spirit. Oh, I'm going to read the bottom to you as well. It says, reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help we're offered as it is about the emotional benefits, and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it is presented to you. So reach out. If you're feeling down, you're feeling depressed about all of this, because you are. Five of Cups. You are in the shits. Talk to your friends. Be around somebody that has good energy. Somebody that cares about you. Do some self-love. Go to the gym, work out. Change your diet. Do something that makes you feel like yourself. Whatever hobby you have, take some time. Do that. If you like to draw, draw. If you like poetry, do that. If you like painting, go do that. If you like singing, go do that. Whatever it is that makes you feel like you, go do that. And most importantly, Seek therapy. If you feel like reading is a nice therapy for you, it is. Feel free to hit me up for a reading. Otherwise, go see a therapist as well. Like, take care of your mental health. It's really important. And I know you guys are going through some tough shit. So, I just really want to stress that. And, you know, I want the best for you. So, anyways, I hope you like the reading. Um... Like, share, subscribe, hit your notification button. Um, release this heavy energy, yo. Go ground. Go do that. Because y'all just, your energy is so just tight and heavy. <sighs> Got me having to exhale. Um, and if you feel like donating, like I said, all everything is in the, in the uh, description. Peace, blessings, and ashe. One love.